As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Okay, we got our got some of the glyphs. So got package one. Okay, let's call in our ship. Lift sets one of three. Okay, back to space and do a scan and proceed to the next set of glyphs. And here we are. Just land over here and then we'll make our way over to the uh, ancient site. If and when it lets me land, uh, go for free landing here. Now to the ancient site. Okay, this may have been farther than I thought it was. We'll be there shortly. Here, get a boost. Let's see, get us there. There we go. Grab our words. Reach warning. Anomaly. As I approach the structure, I feel the same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I've ever known. Activate. The traveler sin. The traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of sentinels, the travelers found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of the omnipotence. The traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered, more than, more than could be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the traveler died. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, a piece of the code. I think of the atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Okay, this should be the second set of glyphs on our ship back to the ship and then go look for the third set wow that's some good hang time all right on to the next one go up and do a scan Let's go see where it's at. And here we are. All right, let's go do this.
Everything here is tinted with the same red, the same un unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope the structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Activate. The Traveler, a purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, and each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone? If you were, would one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of the all of time itself, it will be for the travelers to witness. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of the ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. Okay, we have all of our glyphs. Another scam. Detect portal and cliff sets. Target outside local system. here. I'm going to go up here and see if they have some navigational data. There we go. And then let's go over here and buy some C-class ship tech. So if I go through a black hole, there's a good chance that everything will get broken. Or stuff, tech will get broken. So if I take everything out and then just leave the C class and it breaks, I don't have to worry about it. So for science. These will do. And 
here's the portal. Okay, let's call in our other ship for the black that we're gonna use for the black holes. And get everything set up. Because if we go through the portal, there's a good chance stuff will get broke. Um, which is what happened when I did it the very first time I played it. So in preparation of that, I'm gonna go ahead and call in the other single ship for the black holes. I want to I want to I want to basically save all the uh, tech to add this new tech in it and I'm gonna go ahead and swap out to a broken gun broken multi-tool so there's some less likely to have something I don't want broken broken so and this one yes. yeah this will work all right I want to do all this and I'll bring you back Okay, so I'm well, hey, gonna load up with a multi tool that's broken. I uh, removed all my ship tech, put in one piece of technology, a C class, and invented it might get broken. And let's see what happens. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. Approach the portal. I think of every passing thought, an idle wish, an idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am looking. I am making a choice, a leap of faith, that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Input glyphs. I step forward not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. To locate our ship, it's gonna be somewhere broken. Wonderful. Into the broken planet, we into the planet with my broken stuff. This is new. All right, if you run across these little things, you'll learn words, or you should. Maybe I won't this time. We'll see. If I don't, I'll edit it out.
Atlas. The text blanks before me. It awaits input. Ask who this is. Hello, world. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a word. Atlas. Show me something. No. No one had... No... No, one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interference grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Form diagnostic. It has been years since last diagnostic. 64% of worlds operating within expected parameters. 2 million actionable observations awaiting analysis. Submarine, Sentinel, status, error. Submarine, glass. Status, operational, 4,182 breach attempts. Submarine, traveler. Status, operational, 548 critical error warnings. Exo mine structural integrity promised. Immediate repairs required. Initiate personality interface. Yes. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Atlas, about Artemis. I will find I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to Let's just submit. I try to submit, but it's too late for that. It's far too late. I have belonged. I have belonged to this creature my entire life. First time I ever did this, everything has something broken. All right, so now we gotta find our ship. Commencing Scenario iteration, boundary, separation, failure, likely. Vessel empty, cause, deliberate transfer. Sentinel intervention. Analysis, fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received, traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position locked. System integrity scan initialized. Alright. 
I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity, the entity that so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through the gateway? Why did I follow this path? rescue Artemis. Is that true or is it just a lie? I tell myself. The kind of thought a noble person might have. Artemis was in need of assistance but I did not really risk my life just for them. There is something more. Something other yearning. As I stare at the console an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from the location on this very planet. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from the very system using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet Atlas? As I have? In transmission. Signal exo traced. Let me put my ship back together. Okay. So. Okay, distress signal. Maybe it didn't damage because it was a sentinel ship? Don't know. on foot. Go ahead and make sure the launch thrusters are topped off. Alright, let's go find this thing. Go that way. I don't know, that kind of looks like a creature to me. Like a toad with a unicorn on I feel like I'm going in a circle here. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Great. I approach the source of the signal. The hologram appears. It is Artemis. But only there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they are all right. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu as if I've been there before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the... The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received from Atlas. There's no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from the right, from right in front of me. As I stand there, Artemis begins to speak. Where are cold them but still loved? Anomaly they not a polo watching us tracking mistake abandoned but it wasn't through the portal. Please don't trust. I'm afraid. Aren't comfort Artemis. 
The rejection fizzles away to mere static. The echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitched data trapped in sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they never were alive. I must tell Apollo what I've seen. I still think that looks like a toad with a unicorn on. Alright, let's go to this hollow tournament and tell Atlas what we found out. Or Apollo. Tell Apollo what we found out. That's a problem of location. Ah, there it is up there. We'll just land up here. Free parking. compromised. Warning, manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or, Polo, or Apollo. The terminal has a stream of warnings and errors before manual override. The warning message cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. not alone. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know what life, if that life will finish? Ask who they are. You refuse to answer. The an that's answer enough, I suppose. I know, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Say so you wouldn't do it. Like a fool, you rush in, eager to do whatever you are commanded. You, remi you remind me of myself, you know. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart is glitch. I I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis's frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something called the mind arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. Except, I accept not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventure. But if they, but there, if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. Mind art only. Mind art needs living pearl cadmium. Needs a soul engine. That's a soul engine. Wiring art and glass. Alright, let's be taking my trip to our freighter. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Leave a comment down below. 
and hope to see you in the next one.